Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Red Hen owner just issued sick threat to Sarah Sanders after Biz was destroyed by booting her. One of the far left liberal owners of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia, apparently didn't learn her lesson when she decided to throw Sarah Huckabee Sanders from her restaurant on Friday evening, then coming under attack of a whole army of deplorables. In spite of all the backlash, Stephanie Wilkinson has doubled down and is now claiming she doesn't regret what she did Friday. All this mess started when Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, along with her husband and six other friends decided to go out to dinner this past Friday night at the Red Hen restaurant. As Sanders and the rest in her party nibbled in what we can only surmise as mediocre cheese and crackers, the owner of the restaurant was called to the establishment where she asked Sanders to come out to the patio with her. When they got to the patio Wilkerson told her the restaurant had certain standards like honesty, and compassion, and cooperation. So she asked Sanders to leave immediately. Because Sanders is a classy lady she agreed. She gathered up her stuff and left, along with the rest of her party. Vice reported. The co-owner of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia, has had a hell of a time since she decided to 86 Sarah Huckabee Sanders from her restaurant on Friday, coming under attack from an army of Trump supporters. But despite all the backlash she's gotten from the right, Stephanie Wilkinson says she doesn't regret a thing. I would have done the same thing again, she told The Washington Post. We just felt there are moments in time when people need to live their convictions. This appeared to be one. When Sanders came to the Red Hen with her husband and six other people on Friday night, the chef called Wilkinson to say the staff was a little concerned, Wilkinson told the Post. She headed to the restaurant, and, while Sanders and her friends munched on cheese boards, called the staff into a huddle in the kitchen, and asked if they wanted Sanders to leave. According to the Post, a handful of her employees are gay, and others have been revulsed by Sanders' treatment of the crisis at the border. They wanted her gone. Wilkinson took Sanders out to the patio and asked her to leave, telling her the restaurant had certain standards like honesty, and compassion, and cooperation, Wilkinson told the Post. Sanders agreed to go, gathered up her stuff, and headed out, followed by the rest of her party, whose meal Wilkinson comped. After the White House press secretary identified the place by name on Twitter, President Trump called it filthy, and an army of his supporters got busy screwing with its business starting a campaign to make a bunch of fake dinner reservations and tanking its rating on Yelp. The restaurant's Yelp page has since been flooded with more than 11,000 one-star reviews, leaving it at a solid one and a half. Piggybacking on Trump's dig about the place being dirty, a few pissed-off reviewers have claimed to have found roaches in their food since Sanders was kicked out, while others have compared Wilkinson to a Nazi and called her and her staff on American hateful bigots. But folks on the left are coming to Wilkinson's defense, leaving five-star reviews that praise the Red Hen for taking a stand in favor of honesty and humanity, and lauding her as a true American. I'm not a huge fan of confrontation, Wilkinson told the Post. I have a business, and I want the business to thrive. This feels like the moment in our democracy when people have to make uncomfortable actions and decisions to uphold their morals. Saturday morning the press secretary had no issue in telling her story and actually named the establishment on Twitter, which was followed by President Trump calling it filthy on his own Twitter page. Which in turn led to an army of us deplorables wasting no time whatsoever in making our feelings heard on social media, on Yelp and by making fake dinner reservations in protest. The restaurant's Yelp page now has the business at one star and a half. While on the other side, Liberals were happy to leave this slum a five-star rating although they threw a hissy fit when a Christian baker didn't want to bake a cake for a gay wedding a few years back. Wilkerson went on to confirm to the Post that she feels like this is the moment in our democracy when people have to make uncomfortable actions and decisions to uphold their morals. Odd that she would mention morals when she comes from the side that defends a sexual predator like Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary who dragged his accusers through the mud in order to save her own political aspirations. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.